This don't make no sense. Okay guys, I am back with another cooking video. This will be out next Sunday. Today is Sunday and this will be my dinner for today. I actually already cooked the salmon. If you guys want to see how I cook my salmon, please put that in the comment section below. But right now, I already cut the stalk off my cauliflower and today we are going to make cauliflower rice. I already have a video of me making cauliflower rice just um click the link above the top i want to wave the, the <laughs> click the link above the top if you see it right here on the right hand corner click the link to see how you cut it up without a food processor and today we are using a food processor so i just like to cut it into four sections of course as you can see is in four sections and now i'm going to chop it up one two three four five six five six seven eight all right so let's go over to the food processor and get it to blend the food processor i have is the hamilton beach food processor online at amazon i'll leave the link in the description box below there are different types of settings on the food processor and I'll show you how once I get it all in. So when you put their lid on, everything is supposed to be aligned. So this part is aligned with your handle. There's so much you can do with this food processor. I actually made almond butter with this food processor. It's easy to, you know, make some almond butter. So, okay, let's get chopping. So there's certain amounts of speed. So I'm gonna do the one. Oh, it gotta be locked. Hold on. So once you hear it click, there you go. So when you're making, so when you're making the cauliflower rice, you don't want to blend it too small. You want to have some thicker chunks in it to show that rice-like texture. So that's for that part. There's, it shows you at the bottom on this black part. There shows you there where how you lock the lid in place or the body. I want to say this is the body part. So then I collect the rest of my little pieces of cauliflower. Like these pieces, you can still put them in. I have my black pepper and my onion powder. And I'm gonna use this side. I'm gonna just mix it together. Mix that together. And then I'm just gonna pour it. So, I'm just gonna mix up the cauliflower rice into the seasoning. That's what you see. Mixing it and salting. Mix and salt. Mix and salt. not stir mix and toss okay so here guys i just added the salmon along with the vegetables inside so i'm just chopping it up and stirring it in again you want your light on low because you don't want your rice your cauliflower rice to become mush I'm trying to convince myself not to taste it. I'm all about presentation. I love a good pretty picture. Okay.
This looks immaculate, guys. I'm obsessed with this. Um, so even though it may look well, good. Let's see if it tastes good. That's the real question. <sighs> Anyways, I look a little crazy today. A little. Okay. So it's not about how I look. It's about the food. So it's not about how I look, it's about the food. This look immaculate and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna use a fork. I was like, a spoon or fork, spoon or fork. Make sure you clean up your space before you start to eat. Cause once you eat, you're not gonna wanna clean up. I feel like I'm always biased when it comes to me tasting my food. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm the bomb, okay? This don't make no sense. But anyway, I'm not going to keep eating in y'all face. This ain't no mukbang, but... <laughs> I'm going to see y'all in another video. And y'all can enjoy this beautiful video of my food. See you guys.